hey guys so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make this ultimate protein mask and it's also a hair growth mask as well so it is a protein and hair growth mask in one and today i'm going to use some moringa powder i'm using the shea moisture protein treatment and i'm also using the shea moisture mask i really like the shea mask moisture mask because it make my hair feel super soft and hydrated so i like to use tea tree oil in everything as you guys know so i'm using some tea tree oil as well and some black seed oil and i'm going to basically put some in the container so i'm taking about two tablespoon of the moringa powder that's enough you don't need a lot because this is very very strong you don't need too much of this powder you just probably need one but i add two because i am very heavy handed and i'm putting a couple pumps of the oil in it and that's the avocado and black seed oil so mix that together before you put the other ingredients in so i'm basically mixing it all together until it's going to be a liquidy paste And then I'm going to add some of the Shea Moisture Protein Treatment in this mixture. And I'm also going to add the mask immediately after this. So I add about two and a half spoonful of each. And you guys can see that I was very heavy handed with everything because I want my hair to look super bomb, super healthy, super hydrated and <laughs> growing. Yes, guys, so I'm going to add the tea tree oil to this. And you guys know that tea tree oil is for everything anti, anti inflammatory, anti fungal, anything anti. Tea tree oil is good for that for your scalp, okay? Also, help with dangers and all of that. So, I'm going to whip these mixture together until they're completely mixed together. And you're going to see at the end how it looks green and luscious. So, yeah. Then I'm going to show you how I apply it to my hair. So stay tuned for that. hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome if you're only you're definitely my goodie okay my good good so in today's video i'm going to basically be doing the ultimate hair care diy regime routine for you guys so i decided that you know i had my hair out in high puff for the entire week and i'm gonna insert a clip for you guys and um i don't like to leave my hair out to the elements so i figured that well since it's been out to the element for a week i'm going to give it some good deep condition and add some protein treatment to it so i said okay deep condition mask protein treatment why not do it in one and also, I want to have a at least a little bit of hair growth going on as well. So I add some other stuff in it to grow my hair. Okay. So guys, this is the mixture. So this is the mixture that I have for you guys. And what I have in this is moringa powder. I have some avocado and black seed oil. And I have some shea moisture protein um it, it, it's a protein treatment and i have a hair the hair mask as well in super it. creamy that's the consistency 
it's thick and that was that's what i was going for i want it to be really really thick for my hair because i'm going to apply it on and leave it for 30 minutes so yeah let's see how this work for my hair i i have high hopes with this um treatment by the way i think that um my hair should come out looking really nice after this treatment and um yeah so let's get started i sectioned my hair off in a couple sections you guys already know how it goes if you are og you know that your girl don't really like to section her hair off neatly which is not a good thing because if you don't section your hair off neatly and you're going to like detangle your hair it can cause breakage because a piece from wherever like a piece from here could go into this while i'm detangling and it could break so try your best to section your hair off very neat and i was watching a channel and she was saying that the same thing that try your best to section your hair very neat so that you won't have breakage okay okay i'll stop doing that very soon so my hair looks the curls looks very very nice as you can see wow and i was saying before like i can actually feel my curl patterns look at that i can actually feel when i'm when i go like that i can actually feel it i can feel it i can feel my curl pattern when i'm stretching smoothing it down i can actually feel the curl pattern so that's a good thing it enhances my curl oh guys look at that the curls are like definitely appearing so guys let me know down below if you have ever used this moringa on your hair before let me know what you think about it I think it's, it's a really good regime to use because, you know, it's strengthen your hair and it allow your hair to retain length and possibly cause growth to it. So you guys know that anything pertaining to growth, I am for it. Okay, so if it's going to grow your hair, your girl is definitely for it. I think I need a chopstick. Use my saliva. That's nasty. But anyways, I need a chopstick. Yeah, so it's going on my towel though. Like I didn't expect that. I don't know why I took out that this towel. But yeah, that's how it's looking so far. My hair feels super soft. Soft. And guys, whenever you have like your hair out, you want to make sure that you give it a good treatment when you're washing it, okay? Because it was exposed to the elements and the element can be very harsh with your hair. As you know, the time, the climate changes. This minute is cold, the next minute is really hot. When it's really hot, your hair is going to be dried out. You don't want that. So, make sure you treat your hair very well. Either add in a mask or give it a protein treatment when you're washing your hair. As you can see, guys, my comb is like literally going through this hair. Like, it's like soft, like butter. Okay? It's super, super soft. Like... I have no like resistance going on here and the reason why I'm using my comb through it is because when you use your comb guys the comb will distribute the product evenly on your hair strands so you want to try to use your comb mostly when you're doing these type of treatments your hands and your fingers does do a good job but you want to make sure you get everything so 
I would recommend that you use a comb. So this section is done and I'm just gonna flat it up. And the protein treatment that I use from this, from the Shea Moisture, that's one of my favorite protein treatment from them. And um, yeah, I decided why not use it today with this DIY. So guys, as you can see, I have not detangled my hair before I add this product. Maybe it's not a wise thing to do, but I feel like this product is making my hair much softer. And I I can basically finger detangle with it. So guys, yeah, let's talk about reaching my 4K here on YouTube. I thank each and every one of you that came here and like my content and subscribe genuinely subscribe to my channel i really really appreciate you guys really really appreciate it i was actually shocked to see that i got about 2000 subscribers within a month time and you guys know how it is if you are a small youtuber you know the struggles of getting subscribers the struggles of making your videos and you're not getting any views on it like you make your videos just spend time to edit them and then you're just not getting the views on your channel and then your subscriber account just stay in one place i i have been in that situation where my subscriber account just won't move okay it stays one place and a lot of people were unsubscribing and subscribing because when you start off youtube you're subscribed to other people's channel and they subscribe back and i guess it's not a genuine thing because at that point you're basically looking trying to grow your subscriber account so most of these people that you're subscribed to in the first part is they are small youtubers and some content you're not really interested in but you support each other any any way you like support each other but i was in that bracket where i wasn't seeing any growth going on on my channel and after a while i'm like you know what there's no growth going on on my channel maybe i'm doing things wrong and then i stopped doing my um makeup because you guys know that i was doing makeup some of you guys might not know like my new sub subscribers might not know that but my initially when i started my channel off guys just look at that talk the truth look at this when i started my channel off oh it's so nice when i just started my channel off it was all about makeup for me and here videos like i was doing a little review on here and i don't know but somehow i didn't really like what i was doing like i would buy makeup and i had like boxy charm i did the box boxy charm thing where i get the, the boxy charm every month and i normally i live in canada so i normally get my boxy charm very like when everyone get theirs i'm just getting mine so it was like pointless because i already review a lot of people have been reviewing it and it's like pointless because i won't get any views on those boxes i reached the point where you know i say you know what i don't need to be spending unnecessary money and boxy charm for me was an unnecessary money because i didn't want to do this anymore and then i decided that because okay guys let me tell you what happened why i decided to do hair videos one day i i was like washing my hair and whenever i go through my hair like this i realized it have been happening for a long time and i go through my hair like this there will be a lot of hair coming out like they they weren't like breaking off but they were coming out from the root and then um i have the video up on my channel so i will link it up above and i will have it in the description box for you guys the video that shows when i transition from the doing beauty to doing my hair um and the reason why i chose to do this so yeah and i started to take care of my hair started to do treatments on my hair because before 
I was only using like shampoo and conditioner. I never think about like using mask and do protein treatments on my hair. That was like never in my head, okay? But we have to stick a pin and moment of silence for this curl. Okay, she be like popping out and say, hey, you don't see me guys. We see you. We see you. But anyway, yeah. So that is when I decided and I'm like green everywhere. There's green everywhere on my clothes. So yeah, that is when I decided that I'm going to venture into doing hair videos. And guys, I'm so happy that I did it because now my hair is looking much more healthy and it's not shedding like before. And I'm able to help a lot of people that have this problem that I had. And I'm like able to help a lot of people to, you know, love their hair more and try to take care of their hair. And I really like what I'm doing. So, yeah, thank you for subscribing and Thank you so much for it's 4k thank you for coming watching my videos each week thank you for keeping me motivated and yeah i will try my best to just keep on doing this and keep you guys watching and keep our hair growing okay guys Going to put this under my like under a bag like a grocery bag that is what I have so I'm going to show you guys the breakage that I got like the shedding that I got from having my hair out the entire week and detangling it it's not bad at all I'm not mad I'm not mad I'm not mad at this shedding I'm not mad at all because I was expecting more and I'm quite surprised I did not have that much shedding. I'm not mad at all. So I had my hair out the entire day in a high puff. And the entire week in a high puff. And this is the shedding that I got after detangling it and doing all of this. This is only shedding that I got. So I'm not mad. I'm not mad at this shedding. I'm not mad at all. So yeah. I'm gonna put it now into and I was able to use all of it so yeah your girl okay so I'm gonna keep this in for about 30 minutes and wash it out and come back and show you guys my results which I think are gonna be beautiful so let's see if they're gonna be beautiful okay see you guys soon bye so guys you know how it goes when you say you're going to like leave this thing in your hair for 30 minutes it normally go up to an hour i like i vacuumed a bit this thing on and i went walking i was on the phone for about 20 minutes so i think this was in my hair for about one and one hour and 20 minutes yeah i think that's that's how long it was in my hair but guys let's see how it's looking let's see how my hair is looking it's healthy looks really good and guys i want to show you the curl pattern like when i was washing it out of my hair my curl pattern was like so defined i was saying to myself wow wow this thing really look good i wanted to show you guys but my camera battery died so i could not show you guys but i you can see you can see a little bit that my curl patterns was like definitely showing off of it. the 
this treatment really really worked for my hair i definitely will do it again and as i said before when i was washing my hair out i could actually feel my curls so tight when i was washing my hair out i was actually so surprised when i saw that when i feel the curls the curl pattern when i'm washing my hair i could actually feel them that's a big deal for me so when i felt it i'm like wow this 4b is actually coming out um I was thinking to myself maybe i'm gonna be more of a 4b than a 4c because these curl patterns were so tight when i was washing my hair out i'm like wow this, this is really good so this was a really good treatment for my hair and i will definitely try this treatment again and yeah let me know if you guys will try this treatment let me know down below in the comment section down below so if you got this far in this video that means you're liking what you're seeing and hearing so please don't leave without hitting the subscribe button so that we could be hair growth friends and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys